Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's okay with the hurricane. Um, today we're gonna test out two contraptions. One's a Kong wobbler, this is a size large. And here we got an IQ ball, which I just got. And I just wanna make a comparison between the two. And this is also a size large. Now, first of all, the wobbler has been proven. I mean, we've been using it and no problem at all. It's kind of like a hard rubber. There's no chance of uh, puncturing it and then getting cut. Versus the IQ ball is hard plastic, which I'm a little concerned about because um, some reports say that the dogs is, I guess, like bigger and they're stronger and they chew through this and this actually shatter. Versus this one, you'll probably just get like a scorch mark out of it. So right off the bat, I'll say wobbler. But let's take a look and see how Mac interact with them. So instead of the wobbler, the bigger volume, you can actually put a little, little bit more treats in there. What I sometimes do is um, actually put Mac's breakfast in there. So I added some in the wobbler. Screw it in on. Here you go. And then let's see if Matt goes to town. Matt, come on. You know what to do. Too distracted by this bag. Hold on, I'm gonna take this away. Come on. There you go. So as you can see, Mac is like kind of like using his front paw to push it down. Um, it's really natural. And now he's actually using his nose, which is something he picked up from the IQ ball, which is kind of interesting, because IQ ball, um, he's more used to using his nose to kind of like nudge, nudge it along, versus wobbler, he just kind of pressed down. There you go, so some came out. I'm not sure if you can see anything. But let's take a quick look of the IQ ball for comparison, all right? So the IQ ball, uh, you twist it to open it, all right? Up here is a hole. And then there's actually a second second level contraption right here. And it got a little dial that lets you control how big this hole is to make it like more difficult or easier, up to you. For Mac, I set it to like maybe uh, one third way close because it's pretty persistent. So same thing with IQ ball. I'm gonna put a little kibbles in there. Um, the volume of the IQ ball is a little bit smaller. So it's probably just like a handful. But right now I'm just gonna add a little bit. So I put it in here, put the divider in with the diode down to the appropriate amount, and then screw this in. And I probably need to uh, pick up a camera for this. So Max smells it. So for this one, he actually uses his nose to get it versus just pawing compared to the wobbler. The IQ ball definitely take a little bit more time for Mac to get the food out, simply because, you know, the hole is smaller and there's two levels to go through, see? And as I said earlier, what I like to do is like, I put his breakfast in either the IQ ball or the wobbler. This way, um, while I'm at work, he is a little bit, he has something to do and something to uh, think about instead of like laying around the whole time. And notice the difference with the IQ ball, Mac tends to use his nose to push it around versus the wobbler, he actually uses his paw to kind of bed it down. Pretty interesting. Before the IQ ball, he never uses his nose to play with the food dispensing toys. So let me see if he has a preference. That's actually surprising. I thought he would go for the wobbler because a uh, wobbler would be easier. So when I first got the IQ ball, Mac was actually using his paw the entire time. It took a long time. So I guess right now he just figured out just pushing it along with his nose is much easier. Definitely require less work and energy, huh? Smart boy. All right, just a short little review. Or comparison for now. 
I think they both serve a um, similar purpose. If you ask me, I'll probably still go for the wobbler just because of the material. It seems a little bit more durable versus the IQ ball. You, you should have supervision. A mag is not really chewer, so I'm not too worried. But if your dog's a little bigger and it's uh, more destructive, then yeah, you probably wanna you probably wanna supervise when the IQ ball is out. With the wobbler, no problem, just leave it out. Yeah, look him go. So that's the IQ ball, and we have the calm wobbler right there. And there you go.